Uh, I want to talk about this bike and why I love this bike. Like, love it. Like, actually love it. Um, hold on. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I am a custom e-bike builder. So I take bike, turn them into e-bikes, which is notated by this. These contraptions here make it an e-bike. Was a normal bike, now it's an e-bike. Turn my phone off. I'm not, I'm not playing around with myself, I'm trying to turn my phone ringer off. Um, so yeah, this is the Jameis Dragon Slayer. This has been probably the Salsa, Salsa? The Salsa Black Barrow is probably my number one. This one might be my number two. This bike is freaking sweet. So this one's got 27 and a half by three inch tires. What makes that great is because they're not quite fat tires, but you get all the benefits of having a fat tire where you can take this thing on the snow, loose sand, really loose terrain, but you still have agility. It's not like a true fat bike where you're just, you know, ugh, losing all that agility. So you could take this thing on single track still, but normally you wouldn't want to do it because these things do offer more rolling resistance. But now that you got a motor on it, no more rolling resistance at least you don't feel it anymore so now this thing is back to being sweet again love this bike so much i'd put front racks on it rear racks on it turn this into a touring bike put some tannis tire inserts in there forget about it uh it's got hydraulic disc brakes shimano hydraulic disc brakes it's got an 11 speed drivetrain thing's got just gears for days it's got a sun tour front shock through axles so the low gear in this is 46 tooth. We got a 36 up front. So 36 to 46, that's over a one to one ratio. It's like a one to 1.25. So this thing is gonna have crazy hill climbing. Let's get into the mechanics of it now. We got the BBS 02, 750 watt mid drive motor. Puts out about 1400 watts peak because this is a 52 volt, 16.75 uh, amp hour battery. So it puts out about 14, 1500 watts peak. <laughs> Man, you, you know, people are like, should I get the HD, the O2? Gearing is the biggest thing. This is gonna be the biggest performance difference versus upgrading your motor. Either put a smaller chain ring back here or get a big fat gear back here if you want hill climbing. That's gonna make the biggest performance versus adding watts. It's gear ratios, that's using that leverage, that torque multiplication. That's gonna be the biggest performance difference. That's the that's why mid drives make a, such a big difference. We got a gear shift sensor here, put hydraulic brake cutoffs up here. Got a 500 c color display up here. It's a nice small integrated color display shows you your volts power output of the motor what's going on next to it we got a throttle yeah this bike is just really sweet it's really smooth and it's a go anywhere monster so let's go do a giant nerd out performance test see what it does and that's where we do top speed test and two hill climbs one from a rolling start and one from a standstill Yeah, so you can see this thing is a freaking hill climber. It'll just go up any hill. That's like a 30% grade. This thing will go up it all day. And it, that motor might get hot if you're like a 300 pounder. I'm like 180, but that thing, because it's like a one to one and a half gear ratio almost, it's 36 tooth to 46 in the back. That gear ratio, this thing will just climb up anything. Ugh. And top speed, 34 miles an hour, not bad. I think it's because this is only a 36 tooth. You know, it's winding out, but still 34 miles an hour on a bicycle, that's crazy fast. It's probably way faster than most anybody's gonna be doing. And you know, if you're driving 30 plus miles an hour on a bicycle, you might wanna consider getting a scooter or like a motorcycle of some sort. But it's nice to know that you can do 30 miles an hour plus, you know, if you know you get caught out and you gotta run home because you got diarrhea. Hope you guys found this interesting. Love this bike. This is one of my top five bucket list bikes. So yeah, all right, thanks guys.